way back at the uh, beginning of the pandemic. I'm going to say this was like May, June of 2020. Uh, Marvel put out, um, I can't remember 100% what it was called. It was something like Marvel issue number 1000 or something like that. Um, it was meant to, it, it was titled and numbered as though the original Marvel book, Marvel Mystery Comics, had been in publication all this time. And so they figured that it would maybe on issue 1000 by now or something like that. I don't remember. Uh, it was an anthology book. Uh, each page was devoted to a different creative team, a different character, and I, I want to say a different year. I, I want to say they were like starting uh, in the very early days and going forward, each page was a year. I might be wrong about that as well, but the thing that I remember, what uh, I bring it up for is reading that anthology and it was basically just a launch pad for whatever their next big crossover project was but reading that uh and seeing all these characters that uh were around in the late 30s and early 40s that don't get a lot of play anymore kind of inspired in me uh an interest uh in those really old characters and really old comics that um, either never took off or took off for a while, but we just haven't, you know, seen in, in, in decades. And, um, you know, the original Daredevil, you know, with the split cost, uh, split color costume, um, the Black Terror, the Minuteman, Don Glory, champion of democracy, and um, the an the original Angel, um, Captain Midnight, all those guys. It really kind of um, put a taste in my head for those um, public domain characters. Um, and I thought about that as I was looking at Chad Townsend's Black Phantom. Um, what I really liked about it is in terms of tone and in terms, obviously in terms of story, but in terms of tone and, uh, and the look of it, it really felt like one of those old books from uh, the early days of the war. Um, one of those characters that we would now find in a, uh, in public domain, it was a uh, a fun read. It was, it, I, I I could see myself being a being a kid in 1941 or 1942, and um, just tearing this up and saying, you know, suck it to uh, that access uh, allies. That could have come out smoother. Uh, suck it to the access allies. Um, so yeah, it was a fun book, fun read. Um, lots of good action and, uh, a story that is designed to, uh, make you very pro-America and very anti-axis of evil. So, uh, once again, I don't have a, a, a ton to say. It's another bon mot video, but I would recommend checking out Chad Townsend's Black Phantom for a lot of fun. This has been Tom Duddle, once again.